Kingdom Builder Kids and welcome to worship today. I am Miss D and I am so glad you decided to worship with us this morning. Is this your first time? If it is, you are welcome. And if you are a returner, you know how we do. Welcome back. We have such a great time planned for you today. We're going to sing, we're going to dance, we're going to play games, and of course, we're going to get into the Word of God and learn more about Jesus. Are you ready? I hope so, because it's this way to KB. for coming to worship with me every single week. I get excited every Sunday to worship with you. How was your week? Thumbs up? Well, I hope you're excited because look, look what I'm wearing. I am wearing my VBS shirt. It's starting tomorrow, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but I'm super excited. That's why I have my shirt on today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. You know what we're going to do. We're going to do our confessions. Why? Because the Bible says we can have whatever we say. We want to confess good things about ourselves. So are you ready to confess this morning? If you are seated, go ahead and stand up and repeat after me. Say, I love God. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, the blessed Holy Spirit, the things of the Spirit, the Word of God, the work of God, and the people of God. Better than I love anything else in all of this world. In Jesus' name, say it with me. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. All right, we're going to put on the whole armor of God this morning. Sadly, no armor of God song, but you are free to listen to it anytime. Just go back to our other episodes, okay? All right, we're going to say the whole armor of God. Ready? I put on the whole armor of God so I can stand against the devil's schemes. The helmet of salvation, the shoes of peace, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I will use the word to knock down, to crush, and to stop anything that is not of God. All right, let's declare it nice and loud this morning. Say, I'm a winner, born to be a leader, to set those captives free, and to lead men in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Why? Because I'm a righteous seed. Go find somebody in your house and say, good morning, righteous seed. All right. Are you ready this morning? It is time for praise and worship. We're going to get our praise on. We have some dancing songs today. We're going to have a blast. We're going to do some dabs. Are you guys ready? I hope you're ready because I'm excited. Let's get super wonderful as our first song for today. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, 
are going to sing a new song today. It is called Shout. Now, this song is going to get you dancing. It's going to get you grooving. So I hope you got some space this morning because we're about to get our praise on. so much my microphone is falling off but that is okay all right good job we have one more song this morning who you say I am who does Jesus who does God say that we are we're gonna sing about it this morning Oh, he 
is love for me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God, yes, I am. Free at last, he has ransomed me, his grace. Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free. Free indeed. Who is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my father's house, there's a place. What an awesome time of praise and worship. Thank you so much for worshiping with me. Thank you for getting up and dancing with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, now we're going to flip the script, and now it's time for announcements. Yes, and now we're going to start off with attendance, and we are going to congratulate you for showing up for church today. So well done. Give yourself a hand. Clap on the back. If you are with somebody, high five them and said. Thank you for coming to worship with us this morning. I get so excited because I know that you guys are worshiping right alongside of me every single Sunday morning. So well done. Now, we are going to go ahead and get to our scripture memory time. The Bible says that your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. And how do we make sure we're following what Jesus wants us to do? By memorizing scripture and getting it into our hearts, right? So that's why we highlight every single week a different scripture and making sure that we encourage you to learn scriptures while you're at home. Now, I hope you're continuing to learn scriptures. And if you need some scriptures to learn, don't forget to download our scripture memory booklet on our website, wheatonchristiancenter.com and click, click on the Kingdom Kids page, okay? All right, so my scripture memory for today comes from Joshua 1 verse 9. And it says, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. 
do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, I know that's a little bit of a long scripture, but it's so important for us to remember that when we have God on our side, we don't have to be afraid of anything. We should be smart, but we don't have to be afraid of anything. All right, so let's learn that together. You ready? Joshua 1, 9. So have I not commanded you... Be strong and courageous. Yes. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. All right. Good job. Now, I encourage you, go ahead and memorize that scripture this week. And if you memorize it, send me a video because I always love seeing what you guys are doing. We aren't together, so the videos are a way for me to keep interacting with you, okay? And if you're learning different scriptures, go ahead and send me those videos as well. Now today, we have Lourdes Williams, one of our um, kids from KB, and she is going to recite the Lord's Prayer. So Lourdes, take it away. Who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Bye. Wow, good job, Lourdes. Well done. Thank you so much for sending in your scripture. Keep memorizing your scripture. Keep hiding the word of God in our hearts. And keep sending us videos because we love to hear from you. All right. Well done, well done, well done. Well, you know, as excited as I am, I even have my VBS shirt on today. VBS starts tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, let's go get the All right. VBS starts tomorrow, and it was so good to see you guys at the VBS kit pickup. I hope you had fun taking pictures, getting some cool treats. It was a blast. It was, I'm, I'm so excited to see you, and I hope you have your kits and you are ready to go. We will be live from 1030 to 1230, um, Monday through Friday. We'll have portions that are pre-taped. Uh, we, portion, we have portions that are pre-taped and also portions that you're going to be live on Zoom so we can interact with each other, okay? It's going to be a blast. It's going to be fantastic. And you know what? Even if you didn't register, go ahead and tune in because there's going to be a lot of excitement and a lot of things that you can still participate in even if you did not get the kit, okay? So today our VBS song is called In You Alone. So go ahead and take a listen and enjoy. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. You give me faith and I will put my hope in you.
such great music that we're going to hear next week. So I hope you are excited as I am. I can't wait to see you guys on Zoom. It's going to be a lot of fun. So it's 1030. I will see you there. All right. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and get into our offering. And if you have your offering this morning, go ahead and ask your parents to text to give, and they can use the code KB. All right, let's say our confession. Say, Father, I thank you as we obey your word in giving and receiving. I thank you that all our needs are met and that we are blessed to be a blessing to your people. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. All right, so this morning, um, our lesson for this morning, oh, lost page. there we go. Our, our lesson for this morning is of talking about being on God's team, okay? Being on God's team. Now, have any of you ever been on a team? Okay. Um, I've been on basketball teams. I've been on track teams. I've been on softball teams. Uh, don't think I ever made the volleyball team. Definitely didn't do soccer. Running is not my thing. But so many teams I've been on, and it's been great. Being on a team is fantastic because you work together to achieve a goal, right? Now, what about video games? Hmm, video games. Does anybody love video games? All right, don't everybody yell at me at once. Okay, video games. Now, personally, I'm an old school video gamer, okay? So Nintendo Original, some of you guys have never even heard of it. You don't even know what I'm talking about, and that's fine. It's okay. But I'm telling you, best video game ever was the original Nintendo. Super Mario Brothers, I will challenge you anytime, any place. Let's do it. Okay, but video games is a, also another fun thing that you can play with friends, and you can work together for a common goal. And today, we are talking about Jehoshaphat. I know, that's a long name. Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat... He had some, an army that was coming against him and his people, and he was like, I need some help. I need some people on my team. And so you know what he did? He cried out to God. Now, we're going to watch this video clip real quick that's going to give us a pretty good review on the story of Jehoshaphat, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it, okay? Go ahead and watch the video. Stories of the Bible. Jehoshaphat. This is Jehoshaphat. Oh, hello. Who was one of the kings of Judah. He was a good king. Yeah. Who strengthened Judah. Hey, Jehoshaphat. And he did what was right in God's eyes. He obeyed God's commandments and God was with him. There were other countries around Judah who wanted to wage war on Judah though. Huh. And one day messengers came to Jehoshaphat. Hey, hey, Jehoshaphat and said that the armies of three kingdoms were marching towards Judah. Oh no! Jehoshaphat was terrified by this news and begged God for guidance. Hey everyone, hey! He told everyone in Judah to start fasting. People from all the towns of Judah came to Jerusalem to seek God's help. Jehoshaphat stood before all the people and prayed to God. He asked for God's help, saying, O oh Lord, God of our ancestors, you are powerful and mighty. No one can stand against you. He told God of the things that God had done for Israel before, and he asked him to stop the armies that were coming for them. He said, We are powerless against this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do but we are looking to you for help. All of the men of Judah stood before God with their wives and children. The Spirit of God came upon one of the men who was standing there and he said, Listen all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says, Do not be afraid, for the battle is not yours but God's. He told them that tomorrow they would march out against the armies, but they would not need to fight for God would be with them. Then King Jehoshaphat and all of the people of Israel worshiped God.
The next morning, the army of Judah went out to battle. Bless it. Jehoshaphat said to them, Believe in the Lord your God, and you will be able to stand firm. Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. At the very moment they started praising God, God caused the armies of the other kingdoms to start fighting among themselves. So when the army of Judah came to overlook the battlefield, uh, wow. the enemy was defeated and not a single one of them had escaped. The army of Judah went and gathered the valuables from the valley, and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. Wow. They praised and thanked God who had given them victory. Then they marched into Jerusalem praising God who had defeated the armies of their enemies, and the kingdom of Judah was at peace. What a great story. Wasn't wait, great? wait, wait, wait. Ms. D, you mean that the Israelites didn't even have to fight? Uh, hey, Crystal. I didn't know you were here today, but um, good to see you. How are you? Oh, hey, Ms. D. Sorry for interrupting your lesson, no problem, no problem. but I was listening to the story about Jehoshaphat, and I had to find out if that story was real. You know what, Crystal? First of all, I'm happy to see you, so feel free to drop by anytime. But yeah, that story of Jehoshaphat was kind of crazy, right? It was such a cool story about being on God's team. It was amazing how the Israelites, they didn't even have to fight their enemy. God took over and the enemy fought themselves. Yeah, I thought it was so cool that the praise and worship team went before the army. They had so much faith that God would take care of them. They were thanking him in advance. Right, that's so true, Crystal. I mean, that's crazy. I love that part of the story because it reminds us how effective our praise is. I mean, this could be a great example about what it means to be on God's team. And when you look after, when you're on a team, you look after one another. And God definitely looked after the children of Israel. I definitely want to stay on God's team. His team always comes out on top. You know what? I love winning too, so I definitely want to be on God's team. How about you kids? Are you guys on God's team? And if you're not, do you know that you can ask him into your heart today and you can join his team because he wants all of us to be his teammates? You know what? I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that lesson, Crystal. I hope you enjoyed that story. But it just is a great reminder of what it means to be on God's team. Now, we're going to go ahead and switch gears and get into our game for today. And our game for today is called Ping Pong Toss. And what you need are ping pong balls and an empty egg carton. Okay, so make sure you ask your parents if you still have some eggs in the fridge. Maybe you can put them in a bowl for a little bit. Okay, but get some ping pong balls and an empty egg carton and meet me back here in one minute. Thanks, Crystal, for popping by. Bye. pong balls. Now, I have a lot of ping pong balls. You only need like five or six, okay? But um, go ahead and grab your empty egg cart and your ping pong balls. And the goal of this game is you have to bounce the ping pong ball on the table and try to get it into the egg carton. Now, it's a little bit difficult. You have to kind of adjust. Oh, okay. Yep, not, not working out so well. But all right, you get the idea. 
As you can see, I'm not the best at it, and it's fine because our games are for having fun. Okay, so are you ready? When the music starts, we have one minute to see how many ping pong balls we can bounce into our egg curtain. Are you ready? Here we go. The game begins in three, two, one. You did better than me. I did not adjust very well. So that game was all about adjustments and I struggled to adjust, but that's okay. I had fun. All right. We're going to go ahead and switch gears for our last section of the day. It is a lesson recap. I want to see if you are paying attention, if you know the answers to our questions and we're going to see, hey, Crystal, can you come out and help with lesson recap today? Oh, sure, Ms. D. I would love to. All right. Okay. So we have multiple choice questions today. Uh, hopefully, Crystal, you're ready. You think you're up for it? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Kids, you ready? All right. Question number one. What was Jehoshaphat's big problem? A, he was a star wide receiver. The star wide receiver got hurt before the game. B, his people rebelled against him. Or C, a group of armies were coming to attack him. Hmm. I'm going to say C, a group of armies were coming to attack him. Correct. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right, kids, at home, you guys got to try to beat Crystal, okay, because she's pretty smart. All right, see if you can answer before she does. Okay, question number two. What did Jehoshaphat and his people do when they heard about the attack? Did they A, beg for help for other from other nations, B, they prayed to God, or C, they invented a tank? Mm. I'm going to say B, they prayed to God. Very good, very good. They prayed to God. Yes, they prayed and they asked God to help, and God joined their team, and yeah, he took over. All right, question number three. What did Jehoshaphat, what did God tell Jehoshaphat? A, the battle is not yours, but it's mine. B, run and hide. Or C, surrender. The answer is A. He said the battle is not yours, but it's mine. Right, exactly. God said, don't worry. I got this. Yes, good job. Okay, you are three for three. How about you guys? You guys three for three? I hope so. All right, question number four. Here it comes. What did Jehoshaphat send out first to meet the enemy? A, his infantry. B, heavy artillery. Or C, a choir. I'm going to say C, a choir. Yes, very good. C, a choir. Good job. All right, four for four, four for four. Last question. Let's see if you guys get an A+. All right, here we go. What happened when the people of Judah reached the battlefield? A, they won the, the battle quick and easy. B, they found all their enemies were already dead. Or C, the enemy kings and their soldiers surrendered. Um... The answer is B. They found all their enemies were already dead. Right. When God joined their team, he caused the enemy to become confused, and they started fighting each other. So then Jehoshaphat and his army didn't even have to fight. Pretty cool, I know. Yeah. Great job, Crystal. Well done, kids. Go ahead and give yourself a hand. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did at worship today. Crystal, you can drop by anytime. We love seeing you. 
Um, but we're going to go ahead and say bye today because that is all we have, all the time we have. But don't forget that VBS starts tomorrow, so we will see you tomorrow. Okay? I love you guys. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you again. But we're going to go ahead and say it. Bye, bye for now. now.